Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a return of you, welcome back. So we're gonna get into the week ahead. We didn't see what's the vibe. See what spirit has for you at this time. Tower responsibly, take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. This is still a general reading. If you would like to book me and find out the week ahead for you personally, the email's in the description box. So Libra, let's see what's going on with you guys. Prayer at the week ahead for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, no, no, all Libra placements. What is the overall energy coming in this week ahead for Libra? We have Target. A goal-oriented person, okay? So maybe you guys will be focusing on your goals, trying to hit your target. Also, for someone, you could work at Target. Also, that's funny because Tar uh, Target was coming out a lot in the uh, in the pink room last night. If you know, you know. But let's see. Maybe for someone, you could actually work at Target, okay? So let's get into this. We could have reading. Shout out to you guys. I see you much love and light. All right, Libra, let's see. So, Spirit, the overall energy for the week ahead is Target. Libra hitting their target. Uh, again, you guys mainly focus on your goals. For someone here, someone could be focused on you. You could be someone's target as far as that this week ahead. Um, I plotted on you since the day I saw you. Since the first time I saw you is the target card that came out in the pink room, right? So that could be very significant for this week. <laughs> Especially uh, if you were there during the live stream. But let's see. The week ahead for Libra. What's going on with Libra for the week ahead for us? Casket, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So also something's dead, something's dying. Also for someone, um, someone may lose someone this week. My condolences to you if, if that turns out to be you. But hopefully it's more of, spirit clarify casket. Hopefully it's more of, someone could be going to a burial. But it could be more of just like the end of a situation. Let's see moon changes in your life so this this ending is is definitely bringing about a change here so we can have the libra also if if someone actually does like leave your life or you're burying someone this could be very significant it could change your life right um but let's see so we can have the libra We have rat, someone working against you behind your back. So maybe that's who's going out of your life. The end of a situation with the rat. Also, fuck that rat. Ugh. Um, There is going to be some changes because someone was like working against you behind your back. Also, beware of this on Wednesday for someone. Someone being a rat in some type of way, ratting on you or just kind of like, again, working against you behind your back. There could be some significance to this person's nose. Like, they could have a long, pointy nose. Or they could even have, like, small, beady eyes that damn near look black. Like, there's soulless, no life behind it. Also, for someone here, maybe if someone is going out of your life in this type of way, in a casket way. Because I said it looks like no soul, no life behind it. Maybe for someone, this person that could be... Uh, let's just say leaving the 3D realm could have been a rat, could have been someone that was working against you behind your back, whether you were aware of it or not, okay? So that's definitely significant here for someone. For the week ahead for Libra, some of you might have been in no old replacement. Good fortune. Also, there's some significance to like this person going out of your life, this rat that's working behind your back, and then here comes good fortune for you guys, okay? Key, successful outcome to your problems. This is someone who was creating some type of problems for you here. Hold on, y'all. Honestly, spread give me one for casket. Toxic relationship, king of pentacles. So for someone here, maybe you were in some type of toxic relationship with the masculine energy. Could have been a Taurus. Um, doesn't have to be. It could also just be a man that you were in a commitment with for someone. 
Um, maybe they're the rat. They're the person working behind your back. Um, but again, it's like they're going out of your life this week. For someone, this could be a Scorpio as well. Also, it's like the end to a toxic uh, relationship for someone here this week ahead. First, tell me more about this rat here. Checkmate. Ugh, they said checkmate on that rat that's working against you behind your back. Also, this was like really top secret of them working behind your back. So for someone, I really do feel like it could have been someone that you was in a relationship with. Someone that was also causing you to kind of be like toxic as well. Because this saying toxic relationship both the same. Unless this person is in another toxic relationship with someone else. And maybe if there's a Taurus energy in that situation, someone could be passing away or again, just kind of leaving your life. And if it resonates to you as like you were dealing with someone in a relationship and it was making you toxic, maybe you're just finally putting an end to that. So we can have for Libra. This might be the juiciest one yet. Yeah, ex-lover. Changes in your life, this ex-lover. Social media. So for someone here, the week ahead, you could expect uh, some good fortune through social media, especially if you have a monetized platform. I really don't uh, need to be specific about the different apps that they have. If you have a monetized platform on whatever platform it is, there is some uh, good fortune for you guys towards the end of the week, okay? Um, there's definite, definitely significance to YouTube um, and Instagram. Also, for someone, a Tumblr. And even though I said I wouldn't get specific, uh, some of y'all probably was like, say some of them. Spirit, what's going on with this ex-lover of Libras this week? We have Diamond. You will be receiving or given a precious gift. So for someone here, you could definitely have an ex-lover named Diamond. Okay, your name could be Diamond. It could just be that there's an ex-lover that wants to give you a diamond, okay? They want to make some type of changes in, in, in their life. They want to put a ring on it, okay? For someone, there's something significant about teardrop energy. Also, for someone, this person could want to give you a diamond, but they're still the one that's working against you behind your back so make it make sense um currently for someone here you could have received this already from this ex-lover this diamond this teardrop uh flowers and a diamond or whatever but i don't know it's like they, they're working against you behind your back so nine of swords you could definitely be uh, having insomnia, losing sleep, or it could be this energy. All right, Spirit, what's going on with them if they're having insomnia this week ahead? Five of Swords, this could definitely be a masculine energy. Um, also, for someone, even if you're not, maybe someone's dealing with headaches or someone's dealing with, like, someone saying a bunch of negative things or deceptive things. Um, again, this is kind of giving your ex-lover energy. That's probably in this Five of Swords energy. Um, for the week ahead and then it's like here they come with this uh precious gift for you this gift of a diamond it's like also this person could be trying to be really strategic maybe to win you back here so for someone here expect for someone to try to win you back spirit what's going on with social media besides the monetization and good fortune we have the seven of cups so for some of you here there could definitely be some opportunities that come towards you um through social media via social media via social media however you guys choose to pronounce it also um yeah someone someone could have definitely been trying to snake you in the past when it comes to that in a way but that is actually changing here there's also um there's something significant about a honey pot Okay, and I don't mean, uh, you know, like that little nasties. I, it kind of makes me feel like uh, sweet, 
sweet victory they're saying so again for someone a sweet victory this week ahead there's going to be a bunch of opportunities a bunch of financial opportunities also for someone here have you in a masculine energy in this week ahead reading and shout out to the masculines um there could be a masculine that's trying to decide maybe what platform should i monetize what platform should i get on um make sure you choose wisely um where can what uh platform can i uh, receive good fortune from and avoid snakes or being snaked in some type of way. For someone, maybe you are just simply doing this because you have gotten snaked in some type of way and maybe now you want to kind of like do your own thing, okay, but on social media. So, Tower Responsibly. The week ahead for Libra, Ten of Swords. It's definitely some healing going down, okay? This is healed, all right? Usually, uh, the Ten of Swords represents betrayal, backstabbing, betrayal multiple times. It represents internal conflict. It represents all negativity. But in this deck, this card kind of signifies the healing from that energy. So again, if you were like resonating with a toxic relationship in the past, someone was making you toxic, someone was uh, committed to you or you were committed to them, but now it's over, um, someone was being fake with you, being deceptive. You found out they were wearing a mask. You freed yourself from that energy. Here's where you begin this healing. Also, for some, you could be completing like some healing. Because this card, again, like I said, it represents being completely healed. Also, if someone is actually dealing with this type of thing this week, where it's like a bunch of negative, let's do it like this. So you could catch my drift, okay? If you were dealing with a bunch of like negative thoughts, thinking, or even having someone in your head with this, you see how it's like the birds are on top of her now? It's like they're gone. It's like she's completely healed from that. It's perched on the shoulder, but now it's like above, okay? So again, releasing that negative energy and just kind of like healing. Also, for someone here, you're definitely healing from a deceptive lover. And shout out to you guys. The moon, for some, okay, um... For some of you here the week ahead, there could definitely be you guys feeling like uh, you're drowning in, in your emotions in some type of way. I honestly do feel like this could be external to you and there's another energy that possibly had options that's drowning in their emotions. Maybe for having secret sex partners or this is someone, again, where they're like secretly your enemy and you're not aware of it. So it's like they're drowning in their emotions this week while you guys are focused on opportunities. The different uh, financial uh, opportunities you have and options that you have, okay? Well, she... Also, Leslie could be significant for someone here. L, first class middle initial could also be significant to you. Let's see. The week ahead for Libra, Summer Rising, Venus, North Node. We have the Emperor. Big boss energy, baby. Also, for someone here, you could definitely be receiving a, a gift from an Aries or Taurus, okay? Um, there's also this energy of kind of like masculine or feminine, okay, here. This week ahead, being healed and kind of like getting into this bossed up, bossy ass energy, okay? There's something significant about, um, for someone there is an energy of like losing someone on the 3D realm because then there's like, this week someone really kind of appreciating um, how life is precious and how life is a gift, okay? And... For the most part, I hope that you guys kind of feel like that every single day. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know how I feel about that. Um, if you wake up in the morning, you're already blessed, right? Anything after that, mm, it's whatever. Because if you didn't, then what, what, what does it matter? Think about it like that. Seriously. Like, um, if, if you don't have another day, then that's it. It's over with. So, but someone is definitely more in tune with the fact that life is precious. Life is a gift. And sometimes um, it takes losing people to kind of look at it that way. But, you know, we don't never really try to question the divine about, you know, why is this this way? So, again, if that if that resonates to you, again, my condolences, much love and light to you. Um, but, again, you guys can just be in this energy of just feeling like life is precious. I am healed. Especially if you were dealing with, like, a really shady type of... Uh, ex-lover for someone here 
It's like, maybe you even, oh, now they're saying, breathe again. Y'all know that song by Tony Braxton? For someone that's what the week ahead is bringing you this energy of you feeling like you can breathe again. Um, for someone, maybe your ex-lover is your child's father here. Um, again, tower responsibly and take what resonates. Let's see what else is going on with you guys for the week ahead. For some of you, there is some significance to 18 plus activity. Yeah, let's just say it like that. Also, if you do have uh, a pass to the pink room, go and check out the last uh, week ahead 18 plus reading that I did, okay? If you're feeling called to. There's some messages there for someone or a few or however. So the week ahead 18 plus and the, the last pink room for that. Let's see. So we can have a Libra spirit. Luck is on your side this week. So Libras, you guys are going to be feeling really lucky like lucky Libras, okay? I will tell y'all to drop some closures in the chat, but I think I turned off my comments. Uh, it's Sunday fun day, baby. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So we can have a Libra. Look at the bigger picture. So looking at the bigger picture, then we have to take time to breathe out. Especially if you done, uh, you feeling healed, you've been working on that healing. Someone is completely like healed from an ex-lover and show the world the real you. So regardless of what's going on, especially if you resonate with the trying to uh, decide with social media, if you have a monetized platform, um, Spirit is saying, be authentic, be yourself, show the world the real you. Spirit said, don't you go get on that goddamn app and then start being fake, wearing a mask, not being yourself. You can have an Aquarius moon, okay? Tie responsibly. Even if you don't have an Aquarius moon and that resonates, show the world the real you. You can have, uh, you could be an Aquarius with Libra somewhere else in your chart, but show the world the real you. Don't hide, don't hide yourself. Don't hide who you are. Don't wear a mask. Um, just be authentic. Also, be unapologetically yourself, Libra, because Libras are very unapologetic, okay? We are who we say we are. We do what we want to do. We, we don't, y'all know the vibe. Oh, I'm definitely turning the comments off because I don't got time for no... For them to be in the comments talking about Libra masculines are liars. <laughs> Not today. For the week ahead. Y'all won't be killing me with that shit today. All right, let's see. Your hard work is paying off. So just know that, uh, again, bossed up energy. It went right on top of the emperor. You guys are definitely going to be in this energy of feeling like that really bossy and Actually being able to see evidence that your hard work is paying off. You can have a Capricorn moon, okay? Also, for some of you guys, there's just a need for you to kind of just like take time to breathe, okay? Um, especially if you have been going through this healing. Also, for someone, there's like looking at the bigger picture in regards to your uh, why you're wearing a mask for someone or why you were wearing a mask in the past with someone so again it's kind of giving inner work and we we love that right shadow work is the best work that you could ever do um think about that right we go to work and and work our job right but think about the work that when you do your inner work you do your shadow work that's the best work that you could ever do and it's really fucking hard right so your hard work is paying off so if you if it resonates to you in that way Kudos to fucking you because shadow work is probably the hardest work that you would ever do. Um, you know, sometimes they speak of like certain jobs where it's like, oh, people doing these jobs, blah, 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 blah. The hard jobs, the jobs no one want to do. Imagine it when it's uh, shadow work. No one, well, some of us do. But sometimes a lot of people, they don't want to do. That's the one job or the work that they don't want to do. So again... Take time to breathe out if you have been doing that shadow work and you have healed uh, something significantly. Also, be prepared for a new cycle. So this week, um, again, it's definitely giving healing vibes. It's giving opportunities. It's giving um, you guys really being focused on your goals overall. 
and your spiritual team love that. They said they love that. Fuck fear. It will lie to your face. Yeah, so for someone here, maybe you were afraid to kind of like heal or move on from a toxic person, but they could have just been lying in your face. Um, for whatever reason, you could have been afraid, but like now it's like you're not anymore. And again, take time to breathe out. Also, that's kind of understandable, but it's like you're looking at the bigger picture and maybe saying, uh, telling fear to fuck off and saying, fuck fear. I'm no longer afraid. Even if it's about you guys healing and going after your goals and doing that healing on a, a cellular level here. Because that's what that's what you're doing. When you do shadow work, you're healing your uh you're healing on a cellular level. You're healing yourself. You're healing your DNA. You could also be healing your lineage in a way. Okay, so very important. Your hard work is paying off for it. Tell me a little bit about that. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. For some of you here, that's what it is. Uh, I talked about social media. So for some of you here, maybe you stream. Okay. Um definitely screen time it's like a live type of thing here and for some some of you this week put the fucking phone down too much screen time is making you awkward and sad go talk to a live person so if you find yourself kind of like drowning in your emotions you might need to just like literally talk to someone um in person i i r l that's how people like to write it and put the phone down for a bit. Because sometimes, uh, you know, these phones can't affect how you feel. Especially depending on what's popping up on your timeline. Also, for some of you being that I'm saying that, they're guiding me to tell you guys that. Maybe you guys need to kind of like filter out the things that you're seeing this week. Again, it's like, especially if you're actively healing, sometimes you'll see certain things that can be very, very triggering. So if you need to go block, mute, unfriend uh this week then definitely do that spirit what do you want them to know about this snake here i mean excuse me this rat this rat that's working behind their back this week what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done if you are waiting for a sign well here it fucking is so for someone this is nothing but a sign and confirmation for uh that someone was working against you behind your back um, trying to be very strategic, but honestly, Libra, I feel like you're really the one that's playing chess here. Um, to the point where that you just came here to get confirmation. I think this motherfucker's working behind my back and getting the confirmation that they actually are. So let's see what your advice is in regards to that. That could also uh, happen for someone here towards the end of the week. So be mindful of that. Spur, what do you have to say about this rat that's working behind their back? Have faith in your dreams. So for someone here, maybe this rack could simply be like trying to work again. It's like, okay, counterproductive. Okay, that's the word that they just use. So it's like if you do some work, maybe someone's behind your back trying to unravel it. So it's like you would have to go back and do it again. But have faith in your dreams. There's also something significant to a crescent moon. It also makes me feel like someone literally has like a necklace, a crescent moon necklace or a ring. Be mindful of that. This uh, long nosed BDI person, they, it's like they're trying to fuck with your fortune, trying to fuck with your dreams. They're also trying to be very, very strategic about it. But step out of your comfort zone for someone this person that is doing this is someone you're very comfortable with luck is on your side luck is on your side there's also a heavy Sagittarius energy here so you can be a Sag with a uh, Libra somewhere else in your chart but luck is on your side you can have a Sagittarius moon that's for sure so Libra if you have a Sagittarius moon this uh week ahead reading is definitely significant to you guys and then we have a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So baby, guess what? For someone here, there's something happening here this week ahead that's also going to kind of like present itself in Libra season. It's like a win-win outcome, especially if someone is trying to decide about social media and stuff like that. Or if you already have these things, then maybe you will actually see a significance to your fortune changing in Libra season. Also, shout out to Libra season, baby. We ready. 
Hurry up with this. Wrap this up. What is this now? <laughs> oh, it's still Leo season, right? Yeah, shout out to the Leos, though, if you a Libra, I mean, a Leo son. <laughs> shout out to you, Leo. Communication is key. So this week, make sure that you guys are communicating. Use your words. Heal your throat chakra. Clear your throat chakra. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Um, also, um, for someone here, there could be communication from a twin here. Also, you can have a uh, Gemini moon, Libra. There's also communication between two feminines for someone here. For someone here, maybe you may end up communicating with... Uh, if you're a feminine, right, and you date masculines, you may end up communicating with a feminine that uh, this masculine was dealing with here while you were in this toxic relationship. Um, again, tower responsibly, and you could have a Gemini moon. So it's like you could be a Libra sun, Gemini moon, and Sagittarius rising. That's very specific. If that's your big three, also communication is key. Also, for some, I don't know if it's them wanting to speak to you or you wanting to speak to them, but for some spurs that nothing will come of that situation. So be mindful of that as well because uh, y'all also know my stance on that as far as communicating with someone that your person cheated with or something like that, right? So again, time responsibly, I'm just the messenger, baby. For someone here, you can have an ex-lover come towards you and tell you that you're their one you love. They want to propose to you. They have this diamond. Spirit that we can have for Libra. But just know that a win-win outcome is forecasted for you guys, Libra. Your hard work, work is definitely paying off. So shout out to you guys. Z, F, F, B, B, F, F. A S O for sure. Ugh. Those letters could be significant to you as well. B F F Z O A S. First, last, middle, initial. Yours or this ex lover energy for someone. Tower responsibly. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So